Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today I am reviewing the Ultimate Greta figure from NECA Toys. She is part of their Gremlins line and is inspired from her appearance in Gremlins 2, the new batch. The figure is packaged in a window box with an opening flap and as you can see there, the artwork is phenomenal on her. They really did a fantastic job. I also want to thank NECA for providing her for review. Greatly appreciated. So, here's a look at the artwork. And as I said, very nicely done. Side of the packaging specifies what movie she's from. And there's a look at the bottom, Ultimate Greta. The other side is exactly the same thing, which you see there. And of course, the back of the packaging, you have a brief description of her from the movie right on top there, as well as the Gremlins 2 logo. And you have three images of her right there, along with all of her accessories that we'll be taking a closer look at. But for those of you that need a close up, there's a closer look at the text if you want to read that. So, just like most or all of NECA's Ultimate Figures, there is a look at inside the box, as well as the opening flap, which you see right there. So, what I'm going to do now is open her up, and let's take a closer look. Here is an in-hand look at Greta. As you can see, they did a phenomenal job on her. Just like every other Gremlin figure in this line, she has sculpted textures, uh, especially on the skin. Greta, since she is the only female, I believe, in the movie, she has the rooted hair, and they did a very nice job on this figure as well. You could see just how the hair, you can move it a little bit, so that definitely came out great. She is sculpted in a top along with a skirt, which is painted in white with black patterns on both of them. And if you get a closer look, you would see those purple and brown uh, details on the skin there, which you see right there. That's on, let's move her hair, both shoulders right here. And you also see the purple deco on the back of the forearms there, which came out great. So paint application and sculpting and everything really came out good. I think they really did her right. And they definitely put a lot of love into this figure, which you can see here. The chest, the stomach, the arms and everything, that is in a beige color, which also came out really good, just as you've seen with other Gremlin figures. And if you look, you even see that purple deco right here on the top of the legs here. So the skirt is made of a little bit of a soft plastic. You should be able to see my finger move it a little bit. And the top of it I think that is a little bit of a soft plastic, but it is sculpted to her, so that's not going to move. The back of the head, you also see that nice purple deco right there, especially on the ears here. That came out great, and on the back, you see that purple deco right there. The back of the head, that's all green, but still that same very nice sculpted detail and texture to her. And on certain parts of the body, you see a little bit of a black wash. So you're going to see that on areas like the forearms here, but you're not going to see that all over the body. It's just certain areas, the forearms, the, the hands, a little bit of that right there. And they also went ahead and painted her fingernails, which came out in red. So that's very cool. 
and that's on both of them there. So that was your close up at the sculpt. As you can see, they really did a phenomenal job on her. Very impressive. They really went all out and did something truly special for her release. She's also in black high heels, which are painted in a metallic black, and those also came out great. As far as accessories goes, Greta comes with this feather bow, which is in pink, and just like the figure, they really did a phenomenal job on her. This can fit over the figure and wrap around the arms, and it's a great display piece. As you can see, just by removing it, it's very fragile so just be aware of that when you uh, put it on her and play around with it little pieces do come off just as i'm talking so you can see my finger there so i put that right back on this is a great piece and a great accessory and i for one am very thrilled that it's included with the figure. So there's a look at the back. Let's just get her to stand here, right? Okay, there we go. So it's a great piece, great addition. And again, it's very fragile, so just be very cautious on it. Can even see a little piece on the floor as I'm talking. So you're going to uh, see pieces fall off, but ultimately it's made very well. Again with the ankles. So just be aware that the figure is probably a little bit top heavy, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge depending on how you want to display her. But she does stand up pretty well by herself. Greta also includes a set of interchangeable hands. These hands here have two fingers closer to the palm and can hold on to something. And they're also painted exactly the same as the other hands with the long red fingernails, as well as the great attention detail sculpting and paintwork on the other hands that we've previously seen. So let's just bring that a little bit closer, giving you guys a look. With these hands here, you can see all that great attention to detail in the palm and everything. Let's take a look at the back. And lastly, Greta also includes the serum bottle, which you see in her hand there. Once you get it through the fingers, it stays on pretty well, but it could fall out, so just be aware of that. The bottle is in a clear acrylic, and there's a pink plastic piece inside to indicate it's full. You also see a label on the front there. And let's take a little bit of a closer look at that. So there's your look at the label there. They did a really nice job on there. And again, inside the bottle, you see this pink plastic piece that's put in there just to make it look like there's serum. There's no cover or anything on the top of the bottle, so you can stick something through if you would like. So overall, Greta is a fantastic figure. NECA has done a fantastic job on her. Let's fix those ankles there. Again, she's a fantastic figure. They really did a phenomenal job. Uh, loving how she came out. Great attention to detail. All the accessories came out great. It's very exciting to have her in part of the line. I would like to thank NECA Toys once again for providing Greta along for review. Greatly appreciate that. If you're a Gremlin fan, horror fan in general, definitely add her to your collection. She's a great figure. I promise you'll love her. She is available now, but some stores have her available for pre-order uh, with the release date of this month, April 2021. So visit ToyHypeUSA.com, link below in the YouTube description, and look for Purchase. There's a list of stores right under there where you can buy her now or pre-order her for release this month. 
I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Thank you so much for watching, and please like and share this video as it tells YouTube to share it with more people. We definitely appreciate that as well. Thanks again, guys.